Hello. I am at 80 Vanderbilt. I'm gonna do a little video walkthrough for you here. So welcome. Coming in the front door, there's a little foyer here, sort of a little in-between space. And then you walk in through the second door and to your left, there's a little parlor, living area, I don't know, office space, den, depending on what you're looking for. It has these great glass doors. And there's a closet back there as well. I'll show it to you from the other side. Unfortunately, that piano is spoken for. <laughs> so that will be gone. <laughs> and then we continue through. There's a closet here. So it kind of connects to the other closet. There's a wall, but it's just a, a coat closet. And then we come to the kitchen. This is the most renovated room in the house. This room was renovated in 2016. It has these beautiful exposed beams. All of the appliances and cabinetry were replaced at that time. And these, the white is a uh, wood that was painted white. Um, you'll see this throughout the house, but it's not all painted white. <laughs> and as you can see right now, you get some amazing light. I have the lights on, but honestly, I don't need it. You're getting amazing natural light in here right now. And that fireplace is a working fireplace. I had it going during the winter for open houses. Then you have this window that serves as a door to your little porch here to a deck. So there's this nice ironwood deck. This will last you forever in a day. And there's stairs leading down to the backyard. These are Japanese maple trees. As you can see, this beautiful tree is budding. Oh, so pretty. Looks like some tulips coming up here very soon. And beautiful daffodils and crocuses as well. And later this spring, there will be lilies here. And these are strawberries. And I think there's some rhubarb that grows back here somewhere as well. So it's a really beautiful garden backyard through all seasons. And if you go down the stairs there, there is an entrance to the basement through there, and I'll show you from the other side when I go down there. So, back up the deck through the kitchen. And I'm gonna go ahead and go up. So all along this side of the house is the exposed brick. And that's true in almost every room except on the second floor. So on the second floor, you have this big open space. Now, as you can see very well in this picture, you have a drop ceiling. And above there is about four to six inches of space and some subflooring. And so you could easily put in uh, sheetrock do recessed lights or something like that, but that drop ceiling could be taken out very easily. So you have this big room. Again, lots of natural light. I have no lights on in here whatsoever. There's no overhead lighting. Big closet there. Um, and this is a good time to point out. So on this floor, you can see there's walls and these lowered ceilings and things, um, but this house is only 15 feet wide and that lends itself to being opened up. So these walls aren't uh, supporting, they're not load bearing. So you could potentially take this out and open it up if you wanted to. You also can use it as is. Um, and then we come into this, again, beautifully lit, <laughs> naturally lit room with all this sunlight. And there's an ensuite bathroom. So a full bathroom here. 
every full floor has a full bathroom except for the first floor that we came in on. So modern bathroom, another closet over there, nice big room. And then you're overlooking the backyard and the neighbor's backyards <laughs> and all of that. So, and this whole floor has paneling, but like I said, um, actually on both sides of the house is brick. So you could potentially open that up and expose the brick. And then we're going up to the third floor, which has these beautiful skylights and these interior windows, which are such a, a nice piece of character for this house. This is the original stair railing and stairs, which have been painted, but can easily be sanded and um, stained or whatever you wanna do with them. It's in really, really good shape. I'm just gonna give you a little view of the stair railing there because it's the original and it's really, really cool. So third floor, here's the front room, another closet and this L-shaped room. So you come into this room, this right here used to be a kitchen. This is where you really feel the boarding house aspect of this house. So it was built in the late 1890s by Pratt and was used as boarding house and then later also used by the Navy Yard as a boarding house. So then this is the view from the other side from the window. And you can see those internal windows even looking into the bathroom. And then you see all these closets again, giving you that sort of boarding house feel, all these shallow closets along the um, hallway here. Oh, I forgot real quick. There's also another skylight in this room. So again, I have the lights on, but honestly really don't even need them. There's so much natural light in here. So we walk through here and we have this beautiful, I always call this the spa bathroom. <laughs> You've got your clawfoot tub and this sort of spa feeling with all this wood and um, just a sweet little cabinet. The cabinet was updated at some point. And again, this internal window um, looking across to that other room and this pretty tile. And then you have the back room. Again, tons of natural light. And you have a brick wall over there. And this cabinet won't be here. That's gonna be taken out. Any furniture you see is being taken. So um, you really get the historic feel up here. And you have all this wood. And like I said, in the kitchen, this is all painted white. So you could easily paint it white. You could replace it with drywall. It depends on what you wanna do. Um, and again, looking out into the backyard and into the neighbor's yard. So let's see. And then this is the roof access there. Take a little ladder, <laughs> put it up there. Um, so it's not a roof that you're going to go up on and hang out on, but just so you know, there's that roof access. So I'm going to go back down the stairs and I'll take you down to the basement. You can kind of see at some point someone had a door here and separated this room off, but it could be taken down and opened up really easily just the same. So again, beautiful exposed brick on this side wall. That is the southern wall. <laughs> so now we're going to the basement. On the back side of the basement, so you have these lovely original doors here that open up to the basement. Again, more closet space. There's so much closet space in this whole house. But this is this uh, finished room, which was done in 1990s. They finished the basement, put this floor in, put a little kitchenette in the back. So you have a two burner stove here, a little mini fridge and a little mini sink. Um, which was used when they renovated the kitchen upstairs. They actually used this space. And here is the uh, entrance to the backyard that I told you about. So you go up the stairs, yeah, and out to the backyard there. So 
And there's also an entrance from the front and I'll show you that you can see the door there. Another closet, storage base. This was used as the pantry by the current owners for a very long time. Um, tons of space in there. Closet, closet. And then you have a full bathroom. So, a full bathroom on every floor except for the first floor. And then the back room, well, here's the entrance to the front and that just goes up. You walk down from the street there to get to this entrance. So separate entrance from the front and the back to the basement. And here is another little storage area with a washer dryer quite new as well. And then here you have the hot water heater and the boiler and the hot water heater uh, was replaced in 2013 and the boiler was replaced in 2011 from a an oil to a gas boiler. So that was a big change and significant and they um, the company that did that checked all of the radiators at that time and made sure everything was working well. So everything's in very good working order in this house. Um, the current owners have lived here for over 30 years, used it as a one family house and the bones are really good. There's really no, um, <clears throat> there's no tilt in these stairs or in the floors, which you can't tell as well on a video, but you have to trust me that <laughs> you can see it. Things are very straight. Things are very um, well taken care of. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tour and please reach out if you have any additional questions, have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.